We're here at Daytona Bike Week, an annual pilgrimage to the Honda booth to see what's cooking for Honda. Um, they have this XR150 that you can buy for $29.71, which is like a no-brainer. If you're just getting into motorcycling or want a second bike that's street legal, you can't beat it. Then you got the CRF 300L rally bike. Definitely badass looking machine. Love the color combos on it. We had the 250 version of this. Road 2 up on it. It was great. Then we got the XR60. And uh, now we have the KL. We ride our older KR, KRL. This is a CRF 300L. Another excellent all around bike. Uh, I was talking to the district manager down here. And he said this Transalp over here. Is, Transalp is one of the more popular bikes the Honda has out right now for obvious reason. Um, it's a go anywhere doing it in the machine. And uh, you gotta take a look at the new Goldwings. Goldwing has metamorphosed into more of a sport bike look, sport touring than the old. It doesn't, this isn't, let's just say this isn't your grandpa's Goldwing. It's pretty badass. Love the color combos, the black, red, and white. Plenty of videos on the Honda website if you wanna check these bikes out. And they've got an ocean of bikes from starter bikes up to the latest greatest super bikes the uh minis over here i'll call them minis they're actually 125s the grom you can buy a grom for 35.99 brand new we have we have one in stock right now brand new 23 um they've got uh in different colors orange blue white of course they got the honda monkey bike if you're an old timer like me and you want to get something that's a little more nostalgic you can't go wrong with the monkey bike look at that thing Put that in the back of your camper, head to the beach. Then they've got the scooter, the Honda Navi, the Honda Metropolitan. Uh, we, we had one of these when my kids were little. They used to ride it around everywhere on the farm. Super easy uh, to live with. Cool colors, brown saddle, green and white. I bought my daughter, Jordan, one of these. She has a Super Cup. Same exact thing as this, blue and white. And uh, it's got a Yoshimura pipe on it. It's a Wizard 2 and I think it's a hoot. It's a 125. It did 65 miles with an hour with me on it, and it had more to go. So, Junior had one of these when he was 14, put 12,000 miles on it, riding it to the shop and back. The Honda Ruckus. This is a, the ADV 150. The Ruckus is kind of a cool looking twin headlight, kind of big Hulkster looking knobby tires on it. And they've got the lineup of sport bikes. Here's the uh, CB500F. Beautiful bikes. Here's the CBR 650R and the CBR 1000R. This thing's an absolute rocket ship. Let's go over and check out. This is another bike the regional manager said was uh, really popular. They did this Project Triverse SCL 500. It's a new model for the 23 model year. The SCL 500 triggered the imagination of custom builders and they gave this to one of their uh, guys to do a scrambler style. Um, customizing on it and got it really came out awesome this is what it looked like stock right here and they put the brown saddle on it the custom paint job the uh, long travel olin shocks uh, different rims brembo brakes just really beautiful piece the honda talent is amazing how the uh side by sides have become like just as big as a jeep for crying out loud and there are people driving these on the street down here in daytona i'm not sure how they get them registered but uh People are running these on the road. And you know it's gonna be reliable and fun if it's a Honda. Of course, they've got the, uh, we've had a, a bunch of these on the farm. I had a uh, Honda Rubicon 500. Quad beat the living shit out of that for years. It was pretty much bulletproof. Um, there's a beautiful prom right here. If you ever get a chance to go to Barber Vintage Festival and uh, Barber Museum, you should go check it out. They have a, uh, an event called Small Bore Fest, which is pretty much all small bikes like the Grom, and they have a track set up for them. Look at the paint job on the CBR Fireblade Acropova exhaust. This is a um, factory custom special edition. It has an old fork on it. Look at this thing. Wow. It's a CBR 1000RR. This is probably their this is their flagship super bike. Has an MSRP of twenty nine thousand dollars. So you're gonna drop thirty plus G. But for that. You get a set of $5,000 Olin's upside down DLC coated forks, giant Brembo disc brakes, Diablo, Super Corsa tires on these lightweight rims, and Acropova exhaust, and a paint job that is absolutely freaking stunning. Very cool. 
Here's one of their 1100 super cruisers. And here's a, the, the modern Honda Rebel. We all remember, I don't know how many Honda Rebels we've restored and sold. Bulletproof little uh, cruisers. The new one has a very edgy modern look to it. And of course, how many of us old timers, I'm gonna be 59 next month, 60 next year, started their riding career. I, I started on a um, mini bikes and they didn't have, we couldn't afford one of these, but uh, all the rich kids had a Honda 50. This is a CRF 50. I'd say a, a good, great many of today's riders started on that. And they got the 110. And then you go up to the 125F. That's a really cool little bike. $34.99. How can you beat that? They're pretty much bulletproof. Bikes are rolling in. It's Wednesday, middle of bike week. Here's a Honda CRF 250F, another bulletproof play bike. $5,000 plus out the door. Then you got the CRF 450RL Street Legal Enduro. Basically a motocross frame and suspension uh, with a minimum to make it street legal. 250R, this is the one you can take right out on the track and race Supercross right out of the box or motocross. And then the flagship 450X CRF on and off road, the big board off road machine. And another one of the pioneers is a 1000 right here. Really nice side by side for keeping your farm dialed in. Well, that's the Honda booth. Let's go over and check out the Suzuki and Kawasaki booths next. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. God bless America.